Hello, you beautiful Echelon people. It is Rin here, and welcome today to 10 minutes of total body mobility. We're going to get everything, or try to, as much as we possibly can in 10 minutes. So all you need is yourself and a mat or a nice soft place to land. And let's get at it. All right, you guys can come all the way down to seated. Um, hips to heels if it feels good. If it doesn't feel good, just sit down either way. All right, so I'm gonna take one palm in front of me. I'm gonna gently pull each finger back towards my face. Gentle, you know, don't pull anything out of the socket. But your other arm is extended as you pull back on your fingers on the other side. Great, now pull all of them back, maybe save for the thumb, just on one side. And switch, you can feel that coming into your forearms as well, probably. Great, now if you're seated, I do want you to come to all fours position. We're gonna take your palms face up, fingertips facing you, and we're bending at the wrist and just kind of rocking back, your hips closer to your heels. Ooh, you should feel this all in the front of your arms. Flipping the palm the other direction, good. All right, you guys got this for three. Just kind of rock it back and forth for two. Rock it back and forth for one. And then we're going to take palms uh, still facing up, but your fingertips are facing each other and we're gonna rock side to side. Rock side to side for five. We're not here long for four, for three, for two, for one. Take right foot forward. You're in a half kneeling position now, or you should be right hand on your hip, left arm up to the sky. You're gonna reach up and over your body to the right, and then come back upright. Take your left arm, punch it across, still facing over to the right, and we're gonna alternate. So up and overhead, and then across your body, punch. So your left arm reaches up to the sky, up and over your body, and then it punches over your right leg, trying to punch to the back of the room. So reaching up and over, trying to punch to the right side of the room, and then reaching back, trying to punch to the back of the room. You got just a couple more on this side before we take it to the other side. Half kneeling punches, peg power. Bring the power in for three, for two, for one, we'll take it to the other side. So left knee up, left hand on your hip, right arm reaches up and over, then bring it to a punch to the back of the room. And if you don't get the back of the room, <laughs> just try to get the side of the room. Wherever you can punch Nurse Abby is where you're gonna punch. Maybe each time you get a little bit more reach up overhead and you get a little bit more punch back to the back of the room. You got this for five. Try to get another one or two in for three, for two, for one. Okay, JHC, we're gonna take it to a lizard lunge with a twist up. So what that means is lift your knee off of the ground. You're going to take your left arm up to the sky as your left knee is bent and then bring it down. Step your left foot back, step your right foot forward outside of your right hand, reach up. Place your right foot down on the, or right hand on the mat. Step your right foot back, left foot forward. Lift your left arm to the sky. Left hand down on the mat. Left foot steps back. Right foot steps forward. Right arm reaches up. So we're doing these deep lunges and then we're twisting up to the sky, looking up to the sky and seeing if we can open our chest just a tiny bit more each time. Spin up our marks every time, every time. Opening more. Try to get one to two more on each side. Ooh, make it feel good. Three for two, one. Downward facing dog. If you don't know what that is, you're trying to make a capital letter A shape of your body. And I want you to push the ground away. So you're lengthening through your spine and then try to lengthen your legs as much as you can. They don't have to be straight. Your knees can be bent, but just do your best. From here, we're gonna rock forward, stepping into a low squat. Lift your hands. Place your hands back down on the ground. Step back to your downward facing dog. Press your chest to your thighs. Push the ground away and step forward. Low squat, alternating. Get it low. Press the ground away. Lengthen through the back of your legs. And step forward. Low squat. So low. 
Press the ground, chest to your thighs, care hill. Find a steady breath, inhale. As you come to the low squat, plant your hands down. Exhale into your downward facing dog. Try to get one or two rounds left. And then we're gonna meet in an all fours position. Does that say just get dancey? I like that. Three, two, one. Bend your knees coming down to an all fours position. All right, fingertips, right fingertips behind your right ear. Inhale, look up. Exhale, bring your right elbow down. Try to meet your left wrist. Okay, inhale, right elbow up to the sky. Exhale, right elbow to left wrist. Inhale up. Exhale down. Give me about two more here. Good, all right, we're gonna switch sides. So left fingertips behind your ears. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, guide your elbow to your wrist. Let's do it again, inhale. Exhale, guide it down. Trying to get more open every time. You feel that resistance, but the heat building of this movement hopefully opens your body even more. Stick with it, maybe give me one to two more. And then we're gonna come to a seated position in three, and two, and one. All right, so sit on your butts. We're gonna take, I'll take right leg forward first this time. Right leg forward, left foot can be sole of your foot here and you can open your hip for some mobility there. Or you can have your foot here either way. All right, from here we're gonna do a little reach and a twist. So you're gonna take your right hand to your right toe, reach. And then you're gonna take your right hand behind your left thigh, twist. Come forward, reach. And twist. So every time you're trying to get your forehead closer to your shin and they're trying to take your right hand outside of your left thigh. And remember, if, you're left, if your leg's here, you could also twist like that. So if you had kept your foot on the ground, you could twist by looking behind you. But we reach the toes and we twist. You can take it as slow or as fast as you want. One thing I ask for the reach forward is try not to just, try not to round your spine. You're not gonna get very far. You might look like this. Try to hinge at your hip for the fold. Look how much farther you can get. So much farther. All right, one more. And we'll take it to the other side. Right? Yeah, let's take it to the other side. So your left leg is extended. And then the right leg, he either open hip or closed. You can choose your poison. Okay, we're gonna reach and we're gonna twist, looking over to the back of the room. Same thing. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Woo, okay, yeah. Good, Anne-Marie. I'm sure you got it. I can see you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> That'd be great. Like, you just find out one day. I'm like, really, I can see you. Just one person at a time, and today it's Anne Marie, and you're doing great. <laughs> There's just a little camera. <laughs> uh, did you guys? I I don't know if I've ever said that story in a Fit Pass class. I think I said it in Reflect once. But my mom, when I told her about Reflect, she's like, "You you couldn't see me, could you?" <laughs> No, mom. It's a mirror, but I can't actually see anybody. That'd be hilarious. All right, we're gonna come down to your butts. All the way down. We're gonna take your knee into your chest and then open it up. We're making hip circles. So we'll do bent knee for about three, and then we're gonna try it with a straight leg. Lift your leg to the sky. Ooh, now you might not even use your hand to help you. You're just gonna take the biggest circle you can. Take about three or four of the straight leg variety. And then we'll take it to the other side. Bent knee, three circles. Open up your hip. Your hand can guide for the bent knee, but then let go and make big circles. 
with your straight leg and try to make them bigger each time. Three to four times we're coming to the end of the class. So finishing up here. Yes! You did it. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me. If you need more cool down, don't forget we have that great TheraBody content and you can really get deep down into your muscles with a TheraGuide. I'm Rand. Find me on social media, Rand.Tucker on Instagram. Beautiful people of Echelon on Facebook. And as always, get mobile and prosper.